All right, Norfolk Terrier. This one's the Norfolk Terrier. This one's the Norwich Terrier. Norfolk Terrier, advantages. Adaptable to most lifestyles, even tempered, fearless, good with children, hardy, lovable. Disadvantages, no drawbacks known. The Norfolk Terrier coexisted as one breed with the Nor Norwich Terrier for more than a century. In 1979, the breeds were officially separated by the American Kennel Club. The AKC separated the breeds according to ear type, dropped ears and erect ears. The breeds with dropped ear became Norfolk Terrier. The erect ear variety became the Norwich Terrier. The appearance and size of the dogs are the same. They are hardy dogs with an even temperament. They adapt almost to any lifestyle, are fearless and sporty. Size, 10 inches. Weight, 11 to 12 pounds. Exercise. The Norfolk Terrier will settle for regular walks, but enjoys runs in the park country. It will chase small animals. Grooming, little grooming and trimming is required. Feeding, for daily feeding, one to one and a half cups of dry dog food is recommended. Some dogs may prefer one half cup water mixed with each cup of dog food. Add canned dog food for flavor. Feeding, perfect. Origin and history. These sporty terriers came from England. The dogs were red, barely weighed more than 10 pounds, and include both types of ears. They have been shown at dog shows since 1870. Show requirements. General appearance. Small, low, compact, and strong, with a short back, good substance, and bone. Color. All shades of red, red wheat, black and tan, or grizzle. White marks or patches are undesirable, but do not disqualify. Head and skull. Skull wide and slightly rounded, with good width between the ears. Muzzle wedge shape is muzzle wedge shape and strong. Length of muzzle slightly less than half the length of the skull. Stop well defined. Tail medium docked. Feet round with thick pads and teeth scissor bite. All right, this is the Norwich Terrier. The Nor. Folk with the floppy ears and Norwich with the sticky up ears. Norwich Terrier, advantages, adaptable to most lifestyles, free tempered, fearless, good with children, hardy, lovable. Disadvantages, no drawbacks known. Prior to 1979, the Norwich Terrier and the Norfolk Terrier were recognized as one breed by the American Cattle Club. The Norwich gained independent status as the erect ear variety. Its appearance and characteristics are otherwise identical to the Norfolk kin. Size, height 10 inches, weight, no requirement. Exercise, the Norwich Terrier will settle for regular walks. It's happiest, allowed to, it's happiest when allowed to run in the country. Enjoys chasing small animals. Grooming, little grooming or trimming required. Feeding, for daily feeding, one to one, half, one and a half cups of balanced dry dog food is recommended. Some dogs may prefer one half cup Water mixed with each cup of dog food. And canned dog food for flavor. Origin history. There is controversy as to whether Colonel Vaughn of Southern Ireland or Jodrell Hopkins, a horse dealer from England, deserve credit for developing the Norwich Terrier breed. In 1860, Colonel Vaughn hunted the pack, hunted with a pack of small red terriers that evolved from the Irish Terrier. There are many outcrosses and terriers with dropped and erect ears were produced. Breeders cropped the ears of drop ear animals until it became illegal. When it did, the Norwich Terrier Club protested about the admittance of the drop ear variety when the breed was recognized by the British Club Kennel. By the British Kennel Club. The Norwich Terrier Club requested the standard call for only those with erect ears. Hopkins owned a female. Hopkins owned a female. Many of her pups were owned by an employee, Frank Jones. Jones crossed them with other terriers, including the Irish and the Glen of Imel, Imal Terriers, using only small dogs of these breeds. The offspring were known as Trumpington or Jones Terriers. One breeder claims the direct line of, from Jones dogs to the Norwich of today. Show requirements. General appearance. Small, low, compact, and strong. Good substance and bone. Excessive trimming is undesirable. Honorable scars from wear and tear are not unduly penalized. Color, all shades of red, straw yellow, black and tan, and grizzle. White marks or patches undesirable. Head and skull, muzzle fox-like and strong. 
Length about one third less than the measurement from the rear skull to the bottom of the stop. Stop well defined. Skull has good width between the ears and is slightly rounded. Tall, medium docked, set on high to complete a perfectly level back, carried erect. Feet round with thick pads, bite, scissor.